So here we are back in the series where we're creating a model in Blender that's going to be used to uh, be uh, a character inside UE4 or Unity. We've got our character modeled. Uh, we modeled his body and his hands and we've got uh, basically a UV uh, map on him now. If we go over here to UV image editor and go in here you can see a basic map. Now we're going to start doing texture painting. So the first thing we can do is we can check our UV mapping uh, with texture painting if you have a uh, grid texture. Uh, I'll have a, a link for that for you to uh, check out for yourself. So let's go ahead and go to uh, UV Image Editor. I'm sorry, let's go to... Uh, yeah, this will be fine, right here. So we got a UV Image Editor here, we got a 3D view here. Let's go ahead and just do a little uh, texture painting. First thing we do is go over to Object Mode, go to Texture Paint, and you'll see the guy will be pink. It's kind of a good sign. It tells you there's nothing there, missing data. We're going to add a, a def uh, paint slot for Diffuse Color, and we'll just call this... Uh, uh, we'll do model diffuse color. No spaces, just to be simple. And we'll turn off alpha. Hit OK, and now you should be able to paint on the model just like that. So now you can do all you need to do with your uh, with your model. And uh, I'm under the cycles renderer. This should just work. I think with Blender Render you might have to do something else. So if you need to check, I think these are all my settings here. But it should just work with cycles right off the bat. So we've got our texture paint. We can paint on the guy, you can kind of do different colors, get your color wheel over here, you can smudge or smear, but texture draw is the main thing that you kind of paint with. And if you want, you can also have it reflected over here. Go over to paint, and then select model diffuse color. And you can see how painting on one maps right to the other one. Pretty cool, right? It's like a member of Blue Man Group or something. So we've got that all set up. Let's go ahead and uh, see how good our uh, UV unwrapping is with a little uh, texture uh, projection. So let's go ahead and just make this all black. And we'll just turn the strength all the way up and just delete all those changes that we made to it. Okay, there's a the character. Let's go and use a texture. So if you open up this little thing here and hit New, you'll see a little blank texture will pop up. Then if you go over here to Textures and go under Brush Texture, you can add in a texture and uh, see where it shows up. So I'm actually going to do that right now. Just give me a second to get it loaded up. Yep, let's go over to Open, Desktop, uh, do this, Texturing, Textures, and I've got a couple little files here. So I've got Checkerboard Texture, and these are textures we'll use to texture the character in a little bit. Grab the Checkerboard one, and now we've got it in the scene. We've got it hooked up to our, uh, we've got it hooked up to, you see these two mirror to our brush, and just bring the brightness all the way up. And then just kind of go ahead and paint a checkerboard right on it. And don't like let go, just click all continuously and you'll see how it works. So you see our model looks pretty good. Mapping is, looks decent, you know, there's no really weird kind of points where it kind of pinches together. Hands and everything, and it's somewhat continuous. You see the head has a little more detail, smaller checkerboard means more detail. And uh, the hands have a little more detail too, just a little bit. So that's what we want and that's a pretty, pretty good setup. So let's go ahead and now that we have the checkerboard set up, let's just give it a good, you know, base color. So let's, uh, let's, we could do a skin tone first and we'll do it just about maybe around here. You can do it whatever you want, but we'll just work with this color for now. And we will go ahead and do, let's see how we want to approach this. Yeah, something like this. And I think we'll paint it right on here. You notice it's actually still applying the checkerboard. We actually don't want that, so we'll just click out of that, and now we can just paint directly onto the character. So, it's like, oh no, he's nude, but not quite. Uh, he's got all just kind of basic skin, skin tone color on him. Uh, like I said, you can paint, you can do whatever you want with that. And uh, we've, we've got that, so now let's start painting in his clothes. Let's go and give him, you know, let's give him some dark green pants. Very dark green. You see, he's got pants now. Simple as that. You see how cool it is, the texture paint. And you can paint on the model here as well, so you can give him a shirt and stuff. Uh, we can give him, uh, let's see, let's give him like a, maybe a bluish shirt, like a dark blue shirt. Oh, that's his face. <laughs> and there's the uh, body and the pants. And now let's give him some, some shoes. Maybe we'll give him like sneakers-ish color. Just kind of give him a grayish kind of sneaker look. Might look weird. We'll see how it looks. 
be a little lighter. And maybe a little darker. Make them like blackish. Yeah, that's looking, uh, that's what I was hoping for. Okay. And we can give him some hair. Of course, this is just basic. You could model the hair and do all kinds of other details and things like that. But for the sake of this, we just want to do some basic, you know, this is all just example stuff. I'm not supposed to explicitly tell you how or what you should think that you should uh, you should do. Okay. Got a little bit of a hair there. Let's see if we can just get the last of that little edge out of there. You see how the edge, that's why it's good you have this two mode set up. Try not to box yourself in by hitting the T key and getting too much stuff covered in toolbars. And that's good. Let's see. And he's got this green over here, so let's just sample this color. You can sample anything. You can sample this uh, this color here. And just kind of eat that out. Best to kind of go over seams like that on the body. And we can sample the color here. You can, sometimes I create like a little puddle in the corner of different colors. That way you can just sample them all without having to be uh, adjusted at all. But yeah, that's a basic little character model. Uh, what we can do now is I showed you how to taint the check checker board. You can use that to do all kinds of stuff. Like you can use this settings here, do mix and overlay. And you can do like a shirt with like all kinds of detail on it. We don't really need all that. We just need some, you know, basic colors. To, that'll do uh, all we need for what we're doing here. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, one thing I'll show you is you can kind of, if you get like a darker color like that, and then we take the strength down, and I think if you do accumulate, and we go into that, like, uh, like the face, you can kind of add some detail in like this. We'll just, oh yeah, if you hit uh, F, that'll change the radius. You look at the top left. And you hit Shift F, that'll change the strength. So if we just do strength, you know, we can do way lower than that. Just like almost nothing. Maybe turn off Accumulate. Maybe a little bit higher. Like this. Shift F. Yeah, this this sometimes is a little helpful. Just add that little, you know, essence of uh, variation into the model. Kind of darken it up a little bit. Kind of darkening the edges of the... Uh, thumbs, maybe like the knuckles. Just to show you how you can kind of slowly work up, you know, paint, kind of almost like a, if you're painting a picture. Make that a little bigger, we'll make that a little stronger. Maybe we'll darken the nails a little bit. And do the fingers. Just kind of add a little bit of detail in there. Sometimes it's good to kind of darken the edges on the things as well. Like I said, you could add cufflinks if you want, but we just kind of did a basic, like, like he's wearing like a skin-tight suit or like a like a nice sweater or something, I don't know. Do some on this edge, darken the fingers up. And grab a little in there, around those fingers, on the edge. Yep. And we can just do the same on the shirt if you want. It's kind of dark already, but... A little bit of extra detail goes a long way. It doesn't take long. Like I said, you can paint with, you could just add a new texture here. You go click new, and then go over to here. You can add a brush brush right here. Yeah, a texture for like cloth or like leather or anything like that. Just like I showed you how you did um, uh, the, the checkerboard, just like I said before. I just wanted to reiterate that, that you can do it like this. If you see some distortion like that, we'll fix that in a second. Give him a little bit of variation on his pants. Just subtle. Little nothing. Darken up that area there, crotch area. Yep. Seams usually have kind of a little more variation. And uh, I find it just adds that depth that you're looking for in many things that uh, you don't always get. Even on a simple model like this, it adds a lot, surprisingly, and uh, makes it look a little less blocky. Go around these edges, these boots, give those a little work. Maybe on the outside, it's a little darker, and it's been laying in the mud or something. 
go around this edge. Give that a little spot. Maybe we'll bring a little light color in there. Remove this green. And take the strength, strength down. Get right about like there. You can add a little bright in the spots that you think they'll probably, probably rub too. It's just very subtle, you know, in real life nothing's like perfect. And that's looking pretty good to me. Now if we look over here you can see all that reflecting, you know, little smudges and darker areas and lighter areas. And uh, it's mapped quite well. So let's go ahead and do one more thing. You can just go up to here and do the, the uh, you can use the soften tool to actually blur stuff out. But I find the smear tool is much better. That just kind of blends things together. Almost like kind of blending paints. See like a little seam here. We can just kind of work through that. With textures it's a little more difficult, but it still works. It just takes a little more uh, effort to kind of, you know, blend textures and then get the uh, texture mapping back and look correct. We got all that there. Get that kind of seam off of there. It's okay sometimes they're little like indentations and stuff because real cloth is a kind of little like seams and stuff in it too. Sometimes it can look cool. Let's just add that color back in right there with a dropper. And we'll turn the strength way up and we'll turn the size down. So that way it doesn't have any skin tone in it under the area there. All right, so that's the uh, the guy. Maybe we'll give him a little bit of a darkness around his eye. I don't know if that'll look like anything. Maybe it'll just look weird. Low resolution faces painting on him is kind of a bit odd. Give him a little bit of something. I think that we're at zero there. Oh, that looks weird or that looks okay. <laughs> Not sure what I think of this. Let's go and just grab basic color again, up that. That's fine. Alright, cool. So now we've got our model painted. Uh, like I said, you could add textures with this. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff, texture masks, strokes and curves and all kinds of other stuff. But this is a basic texture paint, and you see how it projects over here. And you might be saying to yourself, how do we get this into the engine? Well, right now, if I exit out of Blender, this would all be deleted. I should, probably should have saved it earlier. In fact, let's save it right now. Let's save the character, actually. We'll go to texturing, and we'll do model textured. Let's get that out of the texture. I couldn't read that. Textured 1. That way we have that as a model, and we'll go to Control shift s and then plus again. And there we go, basic model. Still, this would not be here. I'm going to trick you, but yeah, this will go away if you quit Blender it. You have to go to Image, Save as Image, and then save it in somewhere. So I'll just save it in this folder as Model Diffuse Color. We'll do 0, 1, and save that image. Now this is safe. Now whenever you make a change like this, you need to save it again. So save it incrementally, and uh, you'll have your model as you want it. So uh, that's pretty much the essence of texture painting. Uh, with that in mind, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Up next, we'll start doing the uh, rigging for the character, and then we'll continue from there. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.